are in my movie room, uh, summer, end of the month. Uh, I give you these little update videos. Sometimes I call it an uh, updated room tour because I give you everything that I'm trying to do for my room for the month. I cannot give you a whole look around when I have everything on every shelf because the video will be just way too long and I don't have that much space on my channel. So that's why I give you these little short videos once, twice, maybe per week sometimes. Now I'm on my C's, I'm trying to fix the shelves, make them a little bit on more shorter. So it's harder to find what I have in the bottom because these shelves are so wide. Plus there's like a really big gap. I can easily make one or two more shelves. But it's hard to do when it's like a cabinet like this. So it'll cost me still around 70 bucks in wood. If they have the cheaper wood, because the better wood is a ten dollars, eleven dollars for one, and that'll be a lot more. So if they have the cheaper wood, I'll get that because that could people buy that out. So it might not be there. If it is there, then I'll finish off the shelf next month. So I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. Compared to one, two, three, four, five shelves on this, it'll give me a lot more space for my CDs. So I'm trying to get a little bit more country coming in, a little bit more for Dolly Parton, and then next year I'll try to get a little bit more on Pearl Jam. For Pearl Jam, I like collecting the old stuff with the pictures, the old live. Not so much the new stuff. I might get one or two if it's something like special. But I'd rather get the old ones first, and because that's what I mostly had when I was in high school. But I ended up selling off my CD collection back then. I wish I did not, because that's what I did when I needed money. I would trade in, sell off what I had, knowing how much Pro Jam costs now for live albums, fifty to eighty to a hundred bucks, and the. I never had Dolly Parton in high school, so I mostly had like Madonna, Elvis, Michael Jackson. I knew about those bands, but I never had any Dolly Parton back then. She came much, much later. Even in college, I did not know about Dolly Parton. Never really got into country that much, probably, but I started getting a little bit into country. And I just bought a basket. So that's my basket now that I have for my movie shopping. I can fold it up easily on the bus and hopefully sometimes the bus is very crowded and hard to carry. Something like that would be better if it's very crowded. And try to pick out what I can for my movie room. I'm adding a little bit more games here. So it's going to be slow coming but uh, then I'll have to give you a little room tour whenever there's nothing coming. For a week or so, then thrifting I'll go, but at the end of the week, month there's nothing, then I'll give you a couple of room, room tours. Try and find the last couple of seasons I need for Seinfeld, maybe a little bit more for Simpsons. And this was a pallet wood find, so if I find a pallet wood, then I'll definitely pick it up. Because it's a fairly good wood to make a shelf. And don't see pallet wood that often, so yeah. Because I want to make another shelf back here. Maybe uh, change out this uh, shelf here because it could have more uh, shelving. Any more shelving I get will be better for my space. So maybe make another box on top here. Next year I'm gonna change out this cabinet. Put a full. Uh, cabinet homemade for my VHS. So all these cabinets are uh, personal made by me. Whether it's spaced enough for uh, VHS or it's spaced out enough for DVD. I like to have quite a bit of extra room on top so I could grab my hand in and pull them out. Sometimes they fall back so I put cardboard backing on some kind of thin wood would be better so I could paint them but for now that's what they have because I don't want to invest too much money but 
I need to uh, change out this little area here for uh, shelving like this because it's a lot easier to see what I have down below with the uh, shorter shelves than wider shelves it's kind of hard to tell what's down there and this is my only CD cleaner DVD cleaner I have working and thanks for watching try to add a poster or promo whenever I can might make one more here and I might put some cardboard on those because that's what those are cardboard cutouts so they're kind of cool just to have something on the wall and these are the posters I had to make the Star Wars poster twice because I was learning how to uh, piece them together now without the creases like a whole poster they want like 60 70 bucks so I don't know if that's worth it or not don't think they were that expensive like five years back I think they're a lot cheaper then so they've gone up quite a bit on posters thanks for watching because I remember making some posters back then and they weren't that expensive and try to pick out what I can for my horror on DVD and just go from there. Hopefully Christmas I'll get a TV show. Uh, thinking Deep Space Nine will be the last one for Star Trek. Last year I bought Voyager which is $300. And MASH came in last year. So stuff that's oversized like MASH I should have got the uh, Fat Pack but the Fat Pack was about 250 and this one was a lot cheaper than that so that's why I picked up this one. So I have to go with what I can wherever I have a special. That's why I don't collect on just the CDs, I don't collect on just Atari, I don't collect on just uh, Disney, I don't collect just on Universal Monsters. Universal Monsters I'll probably pick out one per year I think because they're getting more expensive, 50 to 100 bucks. Plus I still want a few for Godzilla. Maybe try to get the Rambo box set. Although I got lucky and I found Rambo First Blood and Rambo Part 3. So I got lucky there. That's why thrifting, you never know. If sometimes you see something on my list, then that'll help me out. If not, then I have to buy it on eBay and pay on shipping. Because VHS on eBay is very expensive. Thanks for watching.